So I'm currently at the immigration office here in Enugu. I came to get my passport and um, that's basically what you do at the immigration office, right? So the process involves when you come here, you get, you fill a form where you fill in your bio data, then you go for your interview. The interview is not something serious, okay? They just ask you exactly some of the things you filled in your bio data. Then you go for capture and after capture, I don't know the next thing. So I am, I've currently done my interview. And um, for information's sake, if you're getting your passport for the first time, you're basically going to need your um, birth certificate, that is for your age declaration. You're also going to get your, you need your local government identification letter, the original one, and then two passport photograph, your guarantor's document, and this guarantor document include his or her international passport or voter's card, or driver's license and a passport photograph so these are the things and um if you're in any group if you're looking for someone who can help you with things or i i think i can help you that i have a blog or i don't know someone who would do that for me so for anywhere in this shape because i'm taking passports and um, i want to be well covered like they say so that is that so we'll just see around probably when i go in for my capture there's a lot of the camera inside they'll get that process if i don't we'll see probably when i'm done okay Alright guys, so I'm done with the capturing right now and um, it took a lot of time. By my time now, it's um, 8 minutes to 6 p.m. Ordinarily, it's not supposed to take this long period of time, but I had several issues. That was just the reason why I took this time. First of all, as an Igbo girl, as an Igbo person, we tend to have surnames that end in H. So all my documents, my surname usually ends in H, but after I had my interview, like I told you guys then, my documents were sent in for verification where I'll be called in for capture. It was discovered that my birth certificate from the NPC, that is the National Population Commission, my surname there didn't have H and for them it's a major problem. Then after when that one was sorted out, the second thing was that my identification letter that is from my local government, they discovered that or I realized that I came with the attestation letter, not even the original document. So that was another issue. I had to replace that. So all of these things put together delayed my capture and though I've done it right now, everything is good. And there's no how I'm going to get my passport today. So my passport will be ready tomorrow. So basically that's just the process of getting your international passport here in Enugu. So guys, it is late. I'm going home. <clears throat> everyone has gone and one thing i must commend the immigration officers is staying this late with us i was thinking once it's 4 pm they're going to abandon us and go as per regular civil servant but but they did not abandon us so they stayed and i think they're still there attending to other people there are just very few people remaining so guys i'll be going home now because i'll be driving i don't want to meet more traffic although i'm already sure that i'm gonna meet traffic but that is that okay one thing i didn't remember to tell you guys is that i didn't film the whole process because i was there and one guy was sent out because he was pressing phone so imagine me bringing out my camera and you know immigration service is more like paramilitary so these people don't joke with you handling gadgets around them and all that so that's why i didn't film the process because i still have my camera and i don't want to waste extra time trying to get this passport okay so that's why i didn't film but that is what it is so this is the building this building houses other ministries so this is like a federal secretariat here in enugu it houses Ministry of Works. In fact, a whole lot of things happen here, including the immigration service. So guys, let me quickly share the beauty and I'll be on my way out. Hey guys, good morning. This is day two, right? And um, I'm with other Collins here. Hey, 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 hey. What so, am I doing? I don't know, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just celebrity. Yeah, but she's calling me a celebrity. Like you guys don't know this girl and what she has done in the state. But anyways, I'm here at Blueprint Media. Okay, let's take a tour. Okay, a small tour of their studio. These guys are doing amazing. Like I look up to them. Honestly, I look up to them. See ya. 
This is on behalf of me and my team. <laughs> okay. Alright, so okay, I see, I see the same <laughs> Why am I hyper? You should be. You should be. It comes with the job now. You should be. Okay, guys, I'm not usually like this on no. <laughs> Okay, so guys, I came for the show. It's called The New Living, right? Yep. So, and when the interview comes out, I'm going to drop the link for you guys and make sure to watch it to support mm -hmm. us. And um, Inugu is growing, Inugu is developing. Okay. So, for those of you always trying to run away from Inugu, a whole lot of things are happening here and they're being created by young people. Young people. So, let me just practice more. Um, okay, so I have a question. Reverend, so, the best thing about Inugu, worst thing about Inugu, it's traditions that stick with you. Are there traditions of Inugu that stick with you? We need to practice these questions, right? I mean, you don't necessarily need to. I usually do on the spot. Uh, yeah. Because I like to get that honesty. Okay, and the whole thing came past. Yes. Okay, no problem. Alright. Uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, go. Alright. Hi guys, this is Jibera here and I'm here to share my Enugu story on Blueprint Africa TV. So keep watching and um, don't touch that dial. This is the regular TV. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you, I don't you. So the first question is, what is the best thing about Enugu for you? Okay, um, my best thing about Enugu is the fact that there is no heavy traffic here. I can actually leave my house by 7 a.m. and get to wherever I'm going to by 7.30, 7.15, depending on the location, yeah, or the distance, yeah. That's correct. Worst. That's what I my worst. Worst thing about you, bro. Okay. The Hey guys, so I am back now. I'm back from Blueprint Africa TV studio. So like I told you, that studio is actually owned by a couple of young Igbo guys, Inugu guys to be precise, and they are doing very well for themselves. So the interview wasn't something so serious. It was a casual thing for their show. Um, I, I recorded two episodes with them. The first one is what they call work. In work, I talked about visitors creed. Now the second one was, was um, Enugu Living. Enugu Living practically covers Enugu stories. So you share experiences about Enugu, what you think, what you feel and all that. There is no correct answer to all of these questions. So it's just a personal experience and opinion. So today is Tuesday. I've gotten a call already from the officer at the immigration office. So I'll be heading over there to pick up my passport. I hope to take you guys along. That is if my phone battery do not die by then. Oh, sorry, if my camera battery do not die by then. And um, what else? Well, I, I might also branch to the market. Something I didn't show you guys yesterday because it was late. I entered Obwete. If you watched my last vlog um, on the, what's it called? Food market, fresh food market vlog. Um, there was a boy there. I don't know if a lot of you noticed him, but someone noticed this boy in this vlog. He sells roasted fish or smoked fish, so he reached out to me and he wanted to support the boy with some amount of money. And um, ever since he reached out, I've not been so free to go to the market to look for him again. So yesterday on my way home, I decided to branch into the market since it's an evening market to look for him, but unfortunately, I didn't find him. Some people were even scared when I showed them the pictures, they were like, wait, why are you looking for him? Who are you and all that? So, but someone had to, someone confided in me and told me that he didn't come out that yesterday. So if I should finish everything on time today and also still have energy, I would go back to the market to look for him and um, bless him with what his helper blessed him with. All right. So that is that. A lot of these things have been happening on this channel, um, especially through my market vlogs. A lot of people have received help from people they don't even know, from people I do not even know. Just as someone watch a vlog and like, I'm touched to help this person or that person 
you know, with certain amount of money and it's just my job to deliver the message and I keep praying for these people. I'm very, very grateful for that. So that will be my itinerary for today, after which I'll be home and uh, that is what my Tuesday looks like. Hey guys, good day. This is day three. So today is Wednesday and um, guys, um, I remember I told you guys I will not be going anywhere today. Instead, I'll be at home all day editing this vlog. But there has been a change in plans because I, I've gone out to secure my 2k from my sites and I'm back. So if you're not conversant with that slang or that tweet, that means you're not active on Twitter, especially Twitter Nigeria. Going out to secure a 2k from your site is actually a term we now use here in Nigeria, especially on social media, to describe going to get paid from whatever hustle that pays you. Okay, so if in case you don't know, I run a mobile dental clinic here in Enugu. So if you're in Enugu or coming into Enugu and you want to get your teeth done and um, a whole lot of things done for your teeth, I am someone you can actually reach out to. And the price is really, really affordable. Like you're gonna shock when I tell you how much it costs. Okay, so someone called me this morning that um, she wanted to have her teeth done and all that. So and because I didn't have anywhere going to, I said, okay, no problem. I mean. There is money involved and this baby girl here loves to take care of people's teeth so i said okay no problem send me the address and i'll meet you up there remember i said it's a mobile service so i stepped out and um, i'm back and guys unfortunately i didn't film the whole process reason being that um we were, I, I was so much in a hurry and um, it was an impromptu thing and she had other places to go and and i didn't go with anybody i went alone so setting up my unit for the service and also setting up for film i just thought it was going to be a lot so i didn't i went with my camera though but i didn't do that so that was just it but on a typical day this is what it looks like so this is me working on a client so basically that is that i'm back home now so guys i need to show you guys something so here is it. My passport is here with me. You remember I told you guys I went to get this yesterday at the immigration office and like I predicted my camera battery died so I couldn't film that part but I've gotten this and this is me telling you all that your girl is not ready to travel. So for those of you that are looking to invite me to wherever, yes I can now come. I can now have fun because I need fresh breeze, fresh air in my life, in my lungs and everywhere. So I got it and I know a lot of people are not proud of their green passport because of the way nigeria is but until i get i become a citizen of another country nigeria is still my country all right so i got it i remember i told you if you are if you're in need of this or you want to renew yours as quickly as possible i have someone that can help you get it done like sharp sharp okay reach me for that in case you're interested but my passport is here and um yeah i'm looking forward to have visas all over the pages and not just use it as a means of identity in banks or other official places okay the joke is not going to be on me all right so guys that is that so in case you don't see again like i said call this out tomorrow but if you see again hey guys good day so this is thursday um day four and i'm back home right now from the interview you guys saw me at the interview venue right so i be exam venue i don't even know what i'm calling it interview but i'm writing to secure an internship opportunity or position an internship position at the university of nigeria teaching hospital internship or what a lot of us call housemanship so yeah that was that's what the interview is all about and the funny thing there is that um more than 19 percent of people there writing the exam that came to write the exam already know in their mind that um you know it's not a matter of how how good you perform at the exam or how high you score it's just a matter of i am um, this is nigeria for you things have gotten that bad that you just have to know someone that will present your name that will submit your name that will put your name in the list okay so this exam is more like to fulfill all righteousness all righteousness and all that i'm just trusting god because honestly i don't i can't say this person has my name or i'm in that person's list or this person's list that is just the truth so if you're watching this vlog and you feel you can help me secure internship at unth be cool help your sister you get because i really do not know anybody there 
and most people i reached out to they were calling million okay not millions thousands of naira that i should pay to get myself a spot and i don't know i didn't pay and i just read the exam believing that god would do something for me all right i'm back home but guys i need to tell you something today has been um or to, yeah today has been an emotional day for me i lost someone very very close to me like someone i hold dear to my heart after prayers this morning the first call i received was the news and i don't know I, I don't know how i'm feeling i don't know how i'm feeling and honestly i've not cried knowing me the typical me there's a way i process things you get there's a way i process things like this especially sad news like this and um i don't know I don't know because death is something that hasn't made sense to me i've n i've not really lost a lot of loved ones or dear ones but the few i've lost i still can't comprehend it like my grandpa when i lost him i was very close to my grandpa when i lost him i heard the news just like this it didn't make sense to me like i just had to file it somewhere in my subconsciousness so but when it was done on me there was nobody there to call me my wife do you get because he has a special name he calls me that was when it dawned on me that he is gone and he's not coming back again do you get so for this news i think he's still in my subconscious i've not really brought it out to deal with it um squarely and i know in due time i'm going to do that try to find a way to make sense of the whole senseless situation because right now it is all senseless to me it is really so that is that so today is just going to be like a semi quiet day for myself the fact that after recording this i'll move back to editing the video because yesterday i didn't finish editing it i was still trying to put the clips together watch through it and make a meaning out of it so today i'll continue that and um keep mourning my loved one okay so guys that is that and i hope you guys i don't know if it's still enjoying this because Honestly, I'm not even enjoying today. I'm not. I'm not. Hey guys, welcome back. So today is Saturday, day six of our week's vlog. And um, guys, you guys didn't see me yesterday being Friday because I didn't vlog yesterday. Reason being that I was mourning. I cried, you know. But that was it. So I didn't do anything yesterday and there was no way I was going to film myself crying. Are you guys serious? No. I'm sure you wouldn't want to see that. So, the only thing I managed to do was um, at night I got up and edited the video. I finished it up yesterday, and today being Saturday, I uploaded the video. So, if you're conversant with my channel, I'm sure you must have seen the video about the best neighborhoods to live in Enugu. It's an interesting vlog. You should go check it out. So, what did I do today, guys? Today was spent baking. Mm -hmm. I'm not a baker though, but my sister is, and she really does a nice job with that so she bakes for people she bakes for us so like i said we spent the whole of the day doing cake so all these are cakes still um yet to be decorated yeah so this is this is one we'll start working on right now and these are like other ones she had like three orders of cake this weekend or four so we've delivered one this other one is um yet to be delivered then this remaining two will be delivered um on sunday so from here you get this, yeah. So this is still the decoration and process. So okay, that's lost dust um coloring. I'm not talking about me about the story, but that is um lost <laughs> dust. Dissolved its edible spirit. So that's my other sister helping out. So it's a family business kind of thing. Like I told you, she had a lot of orders this weekend. So we all had to put hand and make the whole thing come to life. Okay. So when you order with her, we're all going to use love and make the cake. But sometimes she chases all of us out. So those are orders we are too much. So that's why we are helping out. All right. Okay. She's trying to make fondant for another cake. So the first one I showed you was um, butter icing, right? Okay, so this one, she's trying to mix the whole thing for fondant. So when it's ready, I'll show you guys. So 
so this is me asking you guys to kindly please patronize her in case if you're in Enugu or even outside Enugu she's she's ready to do that for you and her fees are really really affordable like most times when I see her go through the process of baking and making the whole thing for people and I ask her the price and she tells me and I'm like nah, we need to review your price okay really need to look into that because you're running a charity organization but she's good guys so please reach out to her because I'm going to drop her, her contact information in the description box below and um, you guys should please reach out to her thank you very much so apart from the baking we did our normal Saturday chores we cleaned we cooked we baked and we are here so my house was like the typical Saturday weekend in a Nigerian home we did everything that we ought to do today and everything is fine and good and this is where I draw the curtain and say thank you for watching if you watched until this point thank you you are the real MVP and um, please kindly and honestly tell me how I fed in the comment section guys because <laughs> I've not really done this kind of vlog before you guys know my usual content right so I'd want to know how I fed in the comment section um, did I fail woefully or did I pass the there rooms for improvement is this kind of is this the kind of content you'd want to be seen every once in a while maybe I could be dropping it every maybe once in every month or something like that and yeah I must be very honest guys this week wasn't the most fascinating weeks in my life but I just had to do this and um, just honestly tell me how it's how I fared in the comment section but do not be harsh please Thank you. You know this channel is a no troll zone, right? Please bear that in mind while I drop you your honest opinions about that. Honest opinion about that rather. So guys, until I come here next time, do have a lovely time. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Help this ministry get to its permanent site. Drop your comments. As usual, you guys know that I love reading comments a lot. Like I like reading your comments, you especially. Yeah. I like reading your comments and um do not hold your comments for me. Share this video, like it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Do have a wonderful time. <laughs>